guys, thanks for coming back for another video. This is US Agent 27. I'm from the MUCollectorClub.com forums. I'm back today with another tutorial video. Um, this is part two of our custom bulldozer video series that we're doing. Um, what I'm doing is I'm taking a Marvel Legends Thunderball figure and I'm basically making it into bulldozer because uh, there's no guarantee that Hasbro is actually going to give it to us. So if you watched the first video, the first video was kind of long, it was about an hour, sorry about that. Um, this one will be a little bit shorter, hopefully. The first video uh, detailed basically what I use for sculpting, Milliput, which I've already got prepped. It also showed off what these little eyeball things are, and how we formed the sculpt and everything. So this guy has been sitting here for a couple of hours, um, probably about six or seven hours or so and the sculpt is pretty almost almost dry it's not quite there just yet um, so I'm not gonna mess with it but I do want to actually sculpt the head this is uh, another head for a guy on the forum Mozoic I took a pile driver head and I just like kind of shaved it down shaved off the ears kind of like what I did with Thunderball so I'm gonna I'm doing two bulldozers at the same time so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sculpt the head, uh, Thunderball on the other figure, and then I'll start with all the detail work. And then when I'm done, I'll actually swap, swap heads. I'll put this head on that figure and sculpt the head again. So a lot of sculpting. But anyway, let's uh, go ahead and get on to sculpting the head. Set him aside. And let's bring in Pile Driver. Now I've already started to prep this figure, just like I did the other, the other figure in the other video. Um, Sanded down the gauntlets and sand on the boots a little bit. I didn't put the beads around yet there yet because I wasn't sure how many I was going to need, so I left them alone. Um, so what I'm doing in this video is actually sculpt the head on this guy. So I'm gonna tilt the camera up a little bit and zoom in. I'm gonna try to keep this on camera as much as possible. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and sculpt the head. Now, Bulldozer has I'm trying to how to describe it. He has like a piece of sculpt that's gonna go across all the way around, and then I'm gonna like smooth out the top of his head. And I'm gonna give him like a chin guard that's gonna come down here and come up. Um, I think that's how I'm gonna do him. But what I want to be careful of is I don't want to get sculpt in where the eyes are, because that would just be a pain in the butt to get to later. So I'm gonna try to keep the eyes free. Um, I don't care about the rest of the, the figure, but the eyes I really need to stay the way they are. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a little piece of Sculpty. Again, I've got my cup of water handy, my cuticle stick handy. Just like the last video, I'm going to go ahead and make it like a snake. And we'll go ahead and let, we'll do the top of Bulldozer and then I'll use a cuticle stick to kind of straighten it out. I might need to go a little thinner than that. So hopefully you guys are enjoying these types of videos. Um, I had a lot of fun doing the last one. <clears throat> I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it came out pretty good. Yeah, so if you're interested in learning how to sculpt or, again, not that I'm the best at it, but, you know, hey, you learn from wherever you can. You know, if you want to just see how and people who customize action figures, how they do it. All right, okay, I'm thin enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this right around just so I can get an idea of where he's gonna be again this is right here is all gonna be filled in except for the eye sockets and then I have the little uh, googly eyes that are gonna go on the sides like where the ears are I guess that's how they have them set up get a little bit more sculpt So I think what I'll do is I'll get the head going and then I'll do the chin and the rest of them. And he does ha normally have a little piece that goes across like his nose. And so I'll have to do that. But when I do that, I have to be very, very careful. Because what I don't want to do is I don't want to get sculpted in the eye socket. And Danny, this is probably how I'm going to do your... Just to put it like that. 
your um, bulldozer as well. Because then what I could do, all right, just push that down. Because then what I could do is I could fill that in with a little bit of sculpt work, a little bit more putty, and I can basically just make holes for the eyes, which is how I think, and then once I'm done, I'll, I'll smooth it all out. Right now, I'm just getting the basic shape. See, I'm just doing this. Okay, I'm working slowly. Let me turn to the side, I'll get that side. Oh. Camera doesn't want to focus on them, it wants to focus on everything in the background. Let's try to move more to this side. So I'm gonna try to adjust the camera. Maybe. There it goes. Again, the whole time, you can't see it, but I'm, I'm wetting my fingers. And I'm going to keep my fingers nice and moist, wet, so that as I work with the sculpt, a little piece and put it right up on his eye and for this sorry guys I gotta turn him so I can see again I'm not really worried about getting it too perfect just yet um, because I'm gonna have to go in with the cuticle cuticle stick but you can see he's starting to form up quite nicely and probably what I'll do is I'll put like a light, light layer of sculpt on the top just to kind of define it. I might even put another layer of sculpt all the way around. Again, if you can see a little bit of yellow in there, that's going to be fine. I can push the sculpt a little bit so you only see his little mask. And I'm probably going to come down. I'm probably going to come down, I think, down to here and then put a little chin piece right there. So he's going to need a little, quite a bit on his head, but when he's done, it's going to make him look really, really good. Because then he's going to look like a bulldozer, basically. He's right there. Again, I'm just I'm working very slowly. I haven't really formed anything yet. I just want to kind of get the the clay. See, I got a little bit of clay in his eye right there. I don't like that. There we go. There. Again, I can always go back and fix that, which I'm going to. Right now, I'm just trying to get the basic shape on his face. I think I'll start on this side. I'll start on the right side. I don't know why I do that. <coughs> so once I get them all done, again, I'm just going to come up. See, so pushed up in his eye again. Start working. Yeah, if you wet your fingers like that, you're not gonna have to sand this when it's done. It'll be fine. Yeah, and I, I see. I got some sculpt right there on his face, but that's fine. I'm gonna paint that anyway. pushing this ever so gently with my cuticle stick just so I can get it around his eye like that. Again you can always go back. I know some people what they what they've done is I've seen some customs with this. They've actually shaved off his nose. I think I'm gonna leave part of it. Um, again 
you know, I have to do it this way, but no, I'm going to keep this line going here. That's going to help me so it's uniform on both sides. That side's looking pretty good so far. So let's go ahead and put a little bit more in. And if the camera gets blurry, I'm really, really sorry. I'm trying to get it closer this time so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Because I know when I watch videos, I like to be able to see what the artist is doing or and how they're actually creating it, because that inspires me. There we go. Yeah, so that's looking pretty good. All right, let's start working on the other side a little bit. And the key with this is you want to do a little bit at a time. There's no rush. I mean, I'm in a rush, but because I don't want the video to be like three hours long. But there's really no rush in this at all. You just want to do a little bit at a time. Again, start with a little bit. You can always add more. So like I'm just putting pieces on like about like that, just to get it on the figure. And using my thumb to kind of smooth it out. I'm gonna have to smooth out that eye in a minute, but and the face. I can see it's already. There. But yeah, he's looking pretty good. The important thing is I just want to make sure I can still see his eyes. Always come. Just move it out with my thumb. And again, this is exactly how I'm going to do the next one, too. I might even fill in his eye a little bit more, but we'll see. Figure I'll get all the sculpt work done on his face, and I can kind of move it up a little bit. Now you guys can still see good. Let's go ahead and start filling in the back. Back, I don't have to worry about as much. Sculpt. So if you guys do this differently and you're watching the video, you know, leave a comment, tell me how you do it. And like I said, I'm no expert. This is just how I normally do it. I use my fingers, I wet them, I use a cuticle stick. I'll fix that after. Let's check the front, make sure it's still good. <coughs> Alright, he's starting to look like Bulldozer. I guess that needs to be smoothed out a little bit. So 
much gonna work. The putty this way. And now I'm gonna start working it inside there. Inside the face a little bit. This is so hard to do on camera. Check on, make sure you got your eyes straight because that'll be important. Check your head, make sure it looks even on both sides. Like this side's a little bit lower than this side, so I just want to push some of the sculpt up. smoothing out my finger because I really don't want to sand this because I'm always just terrified when I sand I'm going to screw things my hand's going to slip it's happened it happened I was working on a um, a blonde black widow and I was drilling the hole for her head and my hand slipped and I got part of her face so then I had to take putty and just fill in her face a little bit I start doing is I start thinning this out a little bit because I want to give the illusion that this is a little bit thicker and then what I'll do is I think I'm going to do another layer so he's got like a band going around I think that's what I'll do That'll help me when I go to. Yeah, see how it's starting to form up a little bit. Alright, 
So that's looking pretty good. See, I got a little excess right there, so I'm going to use my cubicle stick, push it up. this over here a little bit. Try lifting the camera up a little bit so you guys get a better angle. And he's starting to look like bulldozer. So I like the way this side's coming out, like right there. This side, however, uh, wait, there we go. You know, I think I'm gonna leave his head the way that the way that is. It's gonna look great when it's uh, all painted. I'm going to use a very, very little clay because I don't want a big layer. But I do need a, a little bit to work with. Just like that. I've seen he's got like a little divot that comes up right there so let me get another little piece of clay again I know it's uneven but it won't be when I'm done sorry I'm taking him off camera for a second just so I can be able to see this piece. Alright. That focus, come on. There we go. So now I'm gonna just tidy this up a little bit. And this is where it gets really, you really wanna take your time because you're working with such a small little area. It 
it's really easy to screw this part up. And then if you do, this is one part you have to start over. Sometimes you can get too much water on the figure. There we go. I'm just gonna get... Come on. Oh, it's looking better. This is up. Okay. Alright, so that's looking pretty good. Um, I might do is just let that sit for a little bit and then go back to it. Because I like. In there, I think I need to do another layer though. Uh, that's gonna be a pain. I don't know, I might leave it. Because once he's all painted, I might just try to go my cuticle stick and make that more defined. But anyway, that's gonna be it for this video, I think. Um, you guys get the general idea of what I'm doing. I'm gonna play around with this guy a little bit more. I'm just get him exactly the way I want and I'll start sculpting the rest of the details. And you saw that in the first video, so you don't need to see it again. <coughs> but anyway, that's our uh, bulldozer video. And the last thing I gotta do is just put one of these little doodads on each side and he's done. And then I can paint him up and hopefully get him done tomorrow. So tomorrow's video um, will be a painting tutorial on how I paint. Again, I'm not the master, but this is just how I do it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Make sure you uh, leave a comment. Let me know that you like this type of stuff. If you do, I'll do more. If not, this will be the last one. But anyway, uh, that's basically it. So thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Sorry the last video cut off on you. Oh, yeah, don't forget to come check us out, mucollectorclub.com, where you find all the up-to-date up oh, wow, up information about all your comic needs, toy needs, everything you need. All right? Thanks, guys. Bye.